Hey, what's up? In today's video, I'd like to show you how you can use terrain to your advantage in um, Baldur's Gate 3, especially in a fight such as the one versus the face spider matriarch, but also other fights that you might have uh, difficulties with. Right now, I'm playing on the tactician difficulty and my characters are all level 3. And because of this, this fight, um, if you don't use any terrain, to your advantage can prove a little bit difficult. I also want to open your eyes to what's possible and how planning for a particular fight can completely change the outcome um, of it. Uh, first of all, I'm a little bit more prepared for this fight by having the um, the boots. The spider step boots can be found here in this uh, cavern in a room that's at the beginning of the cavern. Next to the desk, there is a black box. Inside there, you're going to find these boots. These boots allow me to walk on spider silk without actually triggering the sound that would lure all the enemies to me and in some scenarios it can prove useful there's obviously other items that for particular combat situations can prove useful as well um, and the second thing i wanted to talk about in terms of preparation for a fight and the environment are these eggs down here these eggs eventually at the beginning of the combat are gonna be spawned by the queen into little hatchlings. Hatchlings which don't have a lot of HP and they don't do a lot of damage. However, they are very annoying, um, at least even for the attack opportunity um, that they can create by surrounding you, for example, and not allowing you to move. Other than that, we're gonna have to kill some eggs here. Shadowheart can freely walk on spider webs because she has the boots. And now the last batch of eggs is located here. This is the trickiest because as you can see, her range is quite large. If I would stay in the red here, I would actually have to trigger a stealth check, which I don't necessarily want. So we're gonna just get rid of them at a range. And now we're gonna move back because she's returning. Noticing enemy patterns and, for example, using your shift key to see what the enemy sees in terms of field of view, crouching with the key C um, is very important in combat, especially for fights that are a little bit more difficult. We have also very deep pits here that we can use to our advantage with like the best skill in the game, which is shove. It just makes the game so much more fun to shove monsters off of high places and just see them falling to their death. Uh, here, if you shove monsters down bottomless pits, you're not going to have their corpses. So shoving a boss down a bottomless pit might not necessarily be ideal because you cannot get the loot uh, from it at the end. And of course, the main idea in this fight is that we use the web bridges to our advantage and burn them as she stays on them. I would like to have a strength character on each platform simply because I see there's little ads and these can be easily shoved into these bottomless pits because I don't need the loot from them anyway. And um, strength characters in general have a bet, especially those that have proficiency in um, athletics, have a better chance of um, shoving and being successful at them. We're gonna send Lazel over to the other side uh, with Shadowheart. She's going to buff herself with uh, uh, Githyanki Psyonix so she can jump without making any noise because we don't want to start the combat just yet. First, we want to just arrange our characters, right? And the idea is that I would place my characters sort of towards the edge of the platform to give the boss opportunity to be here or, well, in bad case scenarios on the other platform ranging me out. But um, we can uh, hope that's not going to happen. And then we're going to wait for the Queen Spider to go on this bridge. I feel that we could potentially strike when she returns because the little one is right now underneath. And so we're ready to cast the bolt. There we go. I really want to get my Paladin in combat as well. Okay, that's perfect. Because I want to give her a choice whether she's going to come there or there. Okay, so my Pally is, uh, my pally is actually ready. Will is ready here also. So we can do like a two-in-one. And we join the battle with Will as well. This is good. My pally's turn, he's going to use an item that we sent over from Lazel that time. Right there. Break the platform. Do more damage. The queen is already like 50%. The goal now is to move away from this area with my characters. So that the queen would sort of be forced to be here. So what I want to do is I want to kind of go here. Hoping that the queen is going to sit somewhere there and attack us from there. Maybe move back to the web. That's the uh, 
idea that I have in mind. Next turn. I really want to get Shadowheart involved in combat too. So that the queen has this option as well. To, um, to join there. Now, Will is going to attempt an Eldritch Blast into a pushback. Absolutely glorious. I'm telling you, you have to do this. You have to push. It's just like so. It makes everything so much better. I guess Lazel could potentially just chill here. Unless we want to do a rally. But we would like to move closer. That's absolutely perfect. So now the queen decided to go here as opposed to anywhere there. Uh, which is ideal because we added, uh, we put Shadowheart in combat. And Lazel as well. Uh, now my pally can do the same exact thing. This time with two enemies on the bridge. Which is absolutely perfect. The queen is at 34 um, HP points left. Now could potentially use a potion. We don't need this platform anymore at all. We only need this platform and this bridge and this platform. And so because of that what I'm going to do now is um, sort of try to... I don't know, maybe disappear, even though I don't have enough actions to do so. I will try to actually disappear and hide. And we're going to go a little bit back, just so we wouldn't get ranged from down there. Obviously, healing is important. This is not how I would normally play this fight. Um, it's just because uh, I'm trying to show you environment and combat and positioning more than anything else. We're gonna... Second wind. Absolutely perfect. Exactly what we wanted. The little spider actually identified us. So what we're gonna do is we're going to dash and try to shove again. Because I cannot reach otherwise. Step forward. Didn't work. This is my time. Maybe Eldritch Blast shove? This is perfect. Um, we're gonna go back with Will. Oh. Next turn. And uh, this is basically almost the end of the Queen. Yo. Yo, what? N I might have not targeted the uh, web. Oh, wow. Okay, plan B. We need a plan B. Actually, no, we have one Lazel. We have one Lazel. We have a plan B. Yep. No, we have it. We have an Alchemist's Fire. There we go. This should do the trick. Yep. So she's at 18 points left. In which case, we can move a little bit out of the poison. Okay, she decided to swap platforms, which is not the worst thing in the world. It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Now I need my potions back though. Uh, on my pally. And my pally should swap his weapon. Or maybe I don't need my potions. We'll see. Next. Here we can use this for a bit more damage. Even though we could potentially have tried an Eldritch Blast for the push. And she would have been dead. And here... How many? How much HP? 4 HP points. We could try. That was a miss. Do I reach for a rally? We could try to range it. That's 3. I want to do this fight without losing any character. But I don't think that's going to be possible. Yeah, definitely not. Not like this. perfect okay she just died this was an example of what could potentially be possible um, to do in a, in a fight such as this where you see deep holes and you see spider webs you can set up all sorts of things on fire like wood ladders wooden structures so you can block enemies another thing that's important to note is that there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, items that you can pick up in including gunpowder barrels which you can throw and then explode with a fire spell. This fight could have been 
pretty complicated otherwise, especially at this level with no spell slots and uh, sort of a little bit unprepared. That was, uh, that was it for this video. Maybe you found uh, a better way to kill the spider with it or maybe you um, found a couple of things about uh, the combat that you can use in your future adventures in Baldur's Gate 3. I wish you a great day wherever you are. Thank you so much for your time watching. I'm going to see you really soon.